Hello children, hello everyone. Today we'll be speaking about two West African power women. One is Nana Asmao, who's a Nigerian teacher, author, and poet. And the second is Ya Asantwa, who's a Ghanaian warrior. Nana Asma was born in 1793 and lived till 1864. Her father was actually Usman Danfodio, who was the founder of the Caliphate, of the Sokoto Caliphate. Nana married young, as was typical of women of her time, and she had five children. Fortunately for Nana, she had the support of her father and understood the importance of young girls and women being educated. So she set up traveling teachers. These were women who went all over to teach women how to be better in their religion, in their homes, and in their education. She also authored books and wrote lots of poetry, which is still in existence till today. She is a pioneer of education, especially women's Muslim education back in the 19th century. And we're grateful for trailblazers like Nana Asmao, who understood the importance of educating young girls and women. We'll move now to Ya Asantwa, who actually lived from 1840 to 1921. So that means she lived for 24 years before the passing of Nana Asmao. So you can imagine, guys, that if now in the time of social media, they would have met and been partners. Ya Asantwa, a courageous woman. This woman led the battle of 5,000 warriors. They call it the Boar of the Golden Stool, or some call it the War of the Ashanti. It was the war that restored the dignity of the Ashanti people when they were being challenged. What Ya Asantua is so amazing is that from her humble background, she was born to, her parents were farmers, and she had her own family, her own children, but she did not cower to any sum of hegemony or domination. She said that her people would fight, women would fight for the dignity of the Ashanti people, and she warred and she battled. And we thank women like, like Ya Asantua for the courage to take up arms against any form of oppression. She took up arms with her sword, and we are honored for her legacy in this time. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.